Have you ever felt like you make a billion pivots in one week? Pivot! Pivot! Or like you woke up one day and your business looks totally different than how you imagined and you're not quite sure how you got there. Or maybe you're scrolling on Instagram and looking at one of the people that you admire and wondering how in the world do they get to do what they're doing starting from where they were. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm one half of Pete and Jordan. We're digital marketers, full-time adventurers, and believers, and we help creative entrepreneurs like you grow purposeful and profitable businesses with smart marketing strategies. So each month we have a deep dive that we cover in our email list, and this month we're talking all about pivoting, and I'll let you guess why, <laughs> but personally we feel like we've made a ton of pivots in our business, some super intentional, some not so intentional. And so we got thinking, how can you strategically plan in your business to make pivots that don't just feel good, but they do good, and they actually are great decisions to move your business forward, steward your time, talent, resources well, and just grow a way better business. So today I'm gonna be talking about five questions that you should ask yourself before you ever make any pivots. And I say this because we are just learning how to do this in our own business and it feels like now that we are asking these questions, now that we don't just have an idea and run with it and actually think through how it's gonna impact us, our lives, our business, our clients, our audience, anything, now that we think through these questions, the moves that we're making feel way more strategic and way more aligned with actually what matters to us. So I hope you enjoy. Now, before I dive into the questions, I kind of want to talk about why pivoting is so important. I know pivots can feel a little scary because you're not sure what's going to happen. If you change your business, you change your business model, you change who you serve, your audience, how are they going to react? What if no one wants it? So I just want to kind of take a minute and tell you why I think pivots are really awesome for your business. If they're done the right way, pivots give you an opportunity to try a new creative endeavor to really, like I said, lean into what resources you have, what talents you have, what skills, and steward that really well and have a greater impact impact and greater influence on those that you're serving. Going along with that, I think pivots are really great ways to serve your audience in deeper and new levels. And lastly, it could bring in some cool new revenue streams, maybe even ones that are passive. So if you've been thinking about making a change in your business, you have your eye on a future move or a way that you're, you're thinking of pivoting, this video and this month's topic is totally for you. So now we're gonna dive into five questions that you should ask before you ever make a pivot. So the first question you wanna ask is, what audience do you wanna serve? Is it going to be your same audience? Is it going to be a smaller niche, a wider niche of your audience? Or maybe is it gonna be a completely new audience? The reason you wanna ask this question is, if for instance, we've made pivots where we went from serving anyone that needed marketing to narrowing into you know the wedding industry and creatives, we had to think about the type of content we were producing. We'd especially think about how we were talking about what we do and who we serve. So you know, a lot of our, our copy, even some of our branding and colors started to reflect more of the creative and the wedding industry because we were attracting those clients and we wanted to make sure, you know, if that's who we're gonna serve, that they resonate with what we're saying and it's not just oh, we're a marketing agency for everyone. So start to think about who you're gonna serve in your ideal pivot and what that gap is. How are you gonna bridge the gap of who you're serving now and who you want to serve as you pivot and how can you plan for making that transition? So can you start to uh, just change how you speak about something a little bit? Can you maybe just play around with, you know, the type of content that you're producing, how you talk about your services, maybe even think about the conferences you're going to or what, you know, who you follow and connect with on social media feeds. So one thing you really want to think about is who you want to serve in the future with this pivot and if there's a gap and, and how big that gap is between what you're doing now and who you're serving and how can you plan to maybe shift your content, your focus, how you speak about things, even shifting maybe some of your services and revenue streams to better serve that audience without just going from one to the other, but actually making a pretty smooth transition. The second thing to think about is how is this pivot going to help me serve my audience or this new audience even better? So ideally you're in business to be a servant leader, to help people, to have an impact, to use the talents and the time and the opportunities, the resources, all the skills that you have 
to help others, right? Like you have some skills that other people need. And so what about this pivot is going to help you do that even better, do it in new ways, do it in different ways and more creative ways. This is kind of like to check yourself a little bit. Am I just making this pivot so that I think I can make more money? Um, which money isn't a bad thing, but personally we found that any decision we make that is only to make more money has never been a good decision in our life or our business. And we instead we just want you to think about how is it gonna help you to steward everything that you have, have a better impact, and really serve that audience better. So this is kind of like a check yourself moment, ask yourself the hard questions, and if you are really thinking of how to grow a business purposefully and profitably, believe me, it'll still help you grow profitably and purposefully, you wanna make sure that it's gonna help you serve even better. The third question to ask yourself is, how is this pivot gonna help us to grow over the long term? So a lot of times pivots, especially if you're planning them in advance and being strategic about them, take some time, they take a lot of investment, they probably take some investment of your money as well. So how is that gonna help you grow and get to the next level? And it's not just a financial thing to think about, that's definitely important, how is it gonna help you grow your business financially? But is it going to give you more time with your family? Is it going to give you a different lifestyle? Is it going to help you just make better changes in your life and your business? And again, just think through the different ways that are important for you to grow. It's going to be different for everyone depending on what your priorities and values are and why you have your business. But just think about, is this pivot going to help me get there? Or is it going to be a little bit of a detour distraction because you never wanna do something just because you feel like other people are doing it or, oh, this person has a course, this person has membership, this person has a retreat, whatever it might be. You don't wanna just do that because you think you should or because other people are. You wanna make changes in your business that are going to help you serve better and help you grow in the ways that matter to you. The fourth question kinda of goes along with that and it's, is this pivot going to align with my priorities and my values? And so for us, We've tried to grow in ways that give us more time with our family, especially when we found out we were pregnant. We thought, okay, I can't do all one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore. I don't have the time. I am really sick uh, in the beginning of the pregnancy, but you know, how is this going to look when I do have a kid or a few kids and we're on the road and we're traveling or we're not? How is what we're doing now, is that going to align with the priorities and values we have? It wasn't. So that kind of made us start thinking through how can we strategically change our business to still have an impact and still serve people, but have time for our family because that's a higher priority for us. So whatever priorities you have, make sure you know what they are and think through them and ask yourself, are my business changes gonna help me live those out? Because at the end of the day, you are the boss of your business. You don't have to do anything that doesn't align with your priorities and values. And I think that's one of the coolest things about being an entrepreneur, but something that we sometimes don't value enough or don't recognize. We feel like we have to do it all or do all these different things because we have endless opportunities. And yet we let ourselves get distracted and not choose the things that actually matter to us. And so I just kind of want to give you permission today to grow in a way and build a business that actually aligns with your own personal priorities and values. And the fifth question I want you to ask is how can I strategically plan for this pivot? Is it something that can just happen? It's kind of a small shift. Is it just, okay, I'm not doing one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore. I'm gonna do group programs. That might be a, a shorter time frame for us. We went from one-on-one -on -one to a group probably in you know three to six months of planning because the one-on-one -on -one program coaching that we did, we just took that same curriculum and changed it a little bit, but just made it a group program. So there wasn't as much of a shift that needed to happen there. But if you're going to be changing audiences or changing services or what you provide, then you're going to need to plan a little bit more in advance. Um, we don't recommend just, not that you shouldn't jump into something because we are all about running towards it and actually taking action, but you wanna be smart about how you take action. Don't just start throwing darts at a wall and see what sticks and hope for the best. So. I really hope that you can think through strategically, you know, when are you gonna launch? When are you gonna, how far ahead do you have to plan for that? Do you need to get people on your team to help you, different services? How can you maybe cut back on things that you're doing now to plan for things that you wanna do in the future? And so this is kind of a shift in your priorities and you know, figuring out how are you going to make this shift and this pivot in the future. And so this really helps you to also think through 
is, if this is going to be a big effort, both time-wise, financially, attention-wise, is this pivot the right fit for us? And if it is, then it's going to be worth taking the time to strategically plan for it now. So I'm going to leave a link below that you can download this checklist of questions to ask with some places to fill in and work through it yourself. I really want to encourage you, if you're thinking of a pivot, just to take 10, 15 minutes, maybe an afternoon, and work through the questions and really make sure that this is going to align for you. It's going to allow you to grow your business more and serve your audience even better. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.